Yeah, g'day. Before we get started with this episode, I'd just like to um, thank Stony Creek Campers for everything they did to get us back on the road. As you would have seen from our last episode, we got smashed by the storms. Um, no structural damage to the van, but uh, you know, awnings and um, anti-flap kits and porches and you know, some water damage and um, antennas and all kinds of things. Anyway, they uh, they sorted that out in a week. I mean, we've never ever had anything but great service from Stony Creek Campers, and uh, those people that have got um, Stony Creek Campers will tell you pretty much the same thing. Uh, there's always an exception here or there that uh, things that can't be uh, fixed so quickly, but um, look, I can't re recommend them highly enough. Uh, magnificent uh, campus, magnificent vans, and uh, and great people, and extremely good service. You know, um, if you're going to buy a van, uh, service is something that you really want to pay special attention to, and. Uh, the people at Stony Creek Campus, and uh, particularly Chris there in the uh, in the service department, and all the team, um, uh, Chris and Hank and Andrew and uh, Tom, although Tom's now down in South Australia, um, and anybody else that I missed, um, you know, you're all a bunch of legends. Thank you for helping us out, and uh, we're really happy with the band still after three years. So, let's get on with this episode. This is Gordon Country. G'day. Hey. Hey. Well, tomorrow's Australia Day. So, Aussie, where are we Aussie, going? Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, enough of that. Um, where are we going? We're going to Gordon Country. Yeah, we've never been to Gordon Country before. No. Uh, apparently, it's pretty popular. We left uh, Huckleberry Hound at home today because uh, we decided to have a weekend free. Well, to be honest, we thought it was going to rain and nobody wants a wet dog in a caravan, right? No. Yeah. So uh, we're on the, uh, what road are we on? The Cunningham Highway. Yeah. And, uh, and lo and behold, we came across our friends, uh, Damien and Michelle, and they're Stony Creek. And they're yeah, they us. came up behind us and uh, gave us a uh, howdy on the, uh, on the CV. So we're catching up with them and, uh, and some others from Birdsville that we uh, went travelling with. Um, yeah, so it should be a good weekend. Yes. Fingers crossed the rain stays away. Yeah. Well, so, uh, hopefully the uh, storm stays away and the wind too because we've just got a new warning on. Ah, uh, that's a cyclone up north that won't bother us. Yeah. Anyway, looking forward to a great weekend with friends and uh, you, yeah, of course, Oh, and me. Good. Excellent. All right. See you soon. See ya. Okay, here's the uh, office at Gordon Country. Um, we've just checked in and, uh, well actually we checked in last night. So we came back up here to get the stickers and, uh, you know, buy a coffee and and check it out. Here she is. Um, and they sell ice creams and, as I said, coffee. So There's I'll grab ice, one of those. change gas bottles. Ice. Uh, and of course you can get firewood. So here it is here. It's also glamping tents down there. It's a working cattle property. Um, there's quite a few uh, campgrounds. I haven't counted them up yet, but we're in Bull Hole. And after you checked in, you can come down, go down there, and it's about five kilometers and there's different campgrounds. And for $10, you can um, do four wheel driving. You pay your $10. What is it for a dog? It's $5 to bring your dog. Mm -hmm. uh, we paid, but didn't bring him. And what else is there? Um, yeah, five dollars to use the dump point. Yeah. There you go. Gordon Country. It's not bad. Well, this is the first campsite, um, which is near the shops. It's quite good in there. Yeah. G'day. What else are you going to say on Australia Day, right? It's not Konnichiwa. 
or anything like that. It's uh, G'day. Uh, we're at uh, Gordon Country and uh, we haven't been here before. It looks pretty good. Um, apparently can hold thousands, but uh, each of the campsites isn't that huge, or it doesn't look like that, but there's a lot of them. Um, we're at uh, Bull Hole, and if you have a look around, it's uh, not exactly overcrowded. Um, it's uh, quite good. So we're here with a few friends that have also got Stony Creek campers, or have moved on and uh, have now got something different. But, um, you know, the diehards, like us, have still got our Stony Creek 15 in the background there. And, uh, yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll show you around um, Gordon Country. Happy Australia Day. What could be better than on Australia Day? Gourmet, Gourmet sausages with onion and bacon and, and a beer. And wine. And wine. Yep. Dig in. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. Look what the hardings you got. Wrap. Ooh. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, yeah. oi, oi. <laughs> Chicken. Chicken. Not lamb. Not lamb. Not lamb. <laughs> it's pretty common that uh, here at the Gordon Country campsites, not only do you get the cattle, but you also get the horses and the donkeys um, coming into your campsite. So you've got a couple of these. Uh, fine examples in our campsite right now um, so if you're out here in the morning you'll probably have cattle in your campsite don't leave towels and tea towels and anything that smells like food out because the cattle will chew it and um, the horses well you know they'll take a carrot um, or just sit around and eat your grass there you go so make sure you hide your grass if you're bringing any by these guys this morning at about five o'clock. Very cute though. Oh, and there was a donkey. This is the track into the four-wheel driving. So that's why a lot of the uh, cars coming through are very muddy. Pea platers. They of, love it. A lot of pea platers, yeah. So that's the track for the four-wheel driving. That's called Catfish Cove Crossing. I think this is black copper too, this one. And there's toilets and showers at this one. So this is a really big site, this one. I think it's too crowded. This is where your dump point is in there as well. And that's called black cockatoo can. Whoopsie. <laughs> Bit bumpy. So yeah, it's quite full in there. There's the toilets up there. I don't know if they've got showers, but there's the dump point up there as well. But that's a very crowded campsite. Well, it doesn't look too crowded today. Well, it follows right out to the back as well. They had a lot of cancellations this weekend. Yeah, they thought the cyclone was coming to Gordon Country. It didn't come. Here's the friendly cattle. Boo! <laughs> oh, and it's a bit dusty. So this is the next campsite. This is called Wallaby Flats. I'd say this is probably more suited to tents and swags and things, not caravans. But yeah, so that is a Wallaby Flat Camp. It's very pretty down here though. Let me see a couple of camps up there now. Alright, let's go to the next one. site and the sign here say what the other one so you got river gum barn you got heritage cabins you got ranchy valley and then straight ahead is gordon country retreat seem to have another one over here 
but that's been closed off. Oh, that's no, reserved. So obviously can reserve a whole campsite. Doesn't look like they turned up. So that one's called Banshee Junction. Oh, interesting picture. Hmm. Might be witches or something in here. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, it's quite pretty in there. Very nice. I think we're going to head straight ahead into those other campsites and have a look. That's far away flats to the left and Bowerbird down here. Bowerbird camp. But there's some Grants cabins are all up there. Manicured. Yeah. There's two cabins there. There's a cabin down there. There really is a campsite to suit everybody here at Gordon Country, from tents, camper trailers, and vans. Drive only on tracks. So sadly, there's not much water in here at the moment. It's lovely and green. <laughs> Working cattle property, so yeah, and I see cows. And if you want internet connection here, you need Starlink because there's no connectivity here. Well, you can actually get phone reception up at the office, you can get 3G, yeah, uh, you won't be able to download your uh, or upload your Facebook posts but on 3G. And this is what we're talking about with the cattle. <laughs> See over here this little uh, MDC-12, um, when people are not there and they're not there because their car's gone, the cattle come up and uh, chew everything. <laughs> your towels and your anything you've got hanging out, they've got some rubbish hanging off the back, so the cows are getting into that. Um, He's calling his mates to say, come on over. <laughs> yeah, there's stuff here to chew, and that's what's happening there. Uh, so don't leave your stuff out. I'll chew it. It doesn't have to be edible. I'll chew it anyway. This is all private property here, so there's no camping until the next creek gets in. Well, some of the cows are just nosing on around. Yeah, they've got right away. <laughs> they do. Here's the next creek crossing. Yep. Oh, he's coming over. <laughs> As I said, move. <laughs> the cows have right away. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> you could bring a normal two wheel driver here, but I probably wouldn't do it, would you, Glenn? Oh, yeah, easy. There's lots of two wheel drives in here at the moment this one. These are self-contained cottages. So this is Gordon Retreat. Oh, it looks nice on this one too. Here we go on some more campgrounds here. What's this one called? This is called Gordon Retreat. I don't know they've got some amenities there. This is a nice little spot down here. Very nice. Nice and flat, very green. And the amenities over there. And now we're going into the National Park, which we're not going to do because, mm -hmm. um, how are you going? Three fingers. Oh, one happy berries. <laughs> Thanks, Alan. <laughs> so we won't head up there, but uh, we just wanted to show the campgrounds today. So we had a little bit of rain last night here at uh, Gordon Country. Um, and it's uh, pack up day, so all the roads are being chopped up, it's muddy, and uh, check out this creek. There was hardly anything in it yesterday, and this morning, well, it's running. Got a few low bridges to cross too, so we'll see how they go. So yeah, I highly recommend coming here, it's actually beautiful, really nice. Hey Glenn, did you have a good weekend? Yeah, it's good. And what's today? Sunday. What else is today, Glenn? 
Um, spa day. Mm, strike three. Uh, anniversary. Bingo. Yeah, bingo. Happy anniversary. 29 years married to this wonderful man that I am sitting next to. Mm. <laughs> Aren't you lucky? Very, very lucky lady. Anyway, home after a lovely weekend with friends at uh, Gordon. The Country. orangutan. The orangutan. The orangutan. The orangutan. Oh, Great. Don't expect any phone reception out there. No. I'm your huckleberry. Wondering huckleberries.